John Fetterman, the senator who dresses like a gym coach that probably shouldn't have passed his background check, was on Colbert and said that America isn't sending their smartest people to Washington, D.C. You all should need to know that America is not sending their best and brightest, you know, to Washington, D.C. We know, John, you're there. The crowd went on to applause. The audience of Colbert participates in two things, elections and posting racially blind accusations on the Ring Camera app. So they are the ones not sending the brightest. The Modern Tonight Show audience, except mine, is most self-unaware beings I've ever seen. Sometimes, sometimes you literally just can't believe, like, you know, these people are making the decisions that are, you know, determining the, the government here. It's, it's, it's actually scary. Okay, behind John Fetterman. And he's right. I can't believe some of these people are making the decisions. Ladies and gentlemen. The Semi-Daily Night Show with Gary TV. Your host, Gary. Tonight's ceremonial first pitch. And please welcome the President of the United States. We did it, sir. Just making sure you're paying attention. Hillary Pantsuit connoisseur Clinton has started doing interviews again, so she's selling a book or running for something political. Either way, a draining chrome revenue is up. She said this about Trump supporters. Mm -hmm. And sadly, so many of those extremists, those mega extremists, um, take their marching orders from Donald Trump because at some point, you know, maybe there needs to be a formal deprogramming of the cult map. I don't like the negativity against extremists here. I myself am an extremist of Zinn, Sparkling Waters, and Chick-fil-A. And she was the first test subject of deprogramming. Just kidding, that was just her trying to run for president. And the shots at Colts is a bit odd. Have you ever talked to someone with the I'm with her bumper sticker? They're single women who live tweet about TV shows no one watches like The Big Bang Theory or Star Trek. Basically a crazy cat lady who even thought a cat was too much commitment to them. So they committed to yelling about politics to no one on Twitter. Mark Zuckerberg needed to warm up before the winter started, so like a good lizard, he spent time outside presenting on Meta's new AI chatbots you can interact with. Meta announced they have a list of celebrities you can text and ask questions to, and they include Tom Brady as Brew, the sports brain. So dudes who only feel something when they bet their entire rent money on a parlay can now get info from a guy who actually played instead of their friends who never even started in high school football. And up next, tennis pro Naomi Osaka, known as Tamika, the manga master, which is just comic books for anime. They really made anime even nerdier. And if you ask her too hard of a question, you'll get a response that she's taking a mental health break. <laughs> I had to do it. And Chris Paul is Perry for everything golf. This feels a lot like they wanted Tiger Woods, but they couldn't get him. Yeah, that's gotta be racist. Them, not me. And then of course, Paris Hilton is Amber, a detective for all things crime. Paris Hilton is as good as a detective as Fetterman would be at rapping. No, I, I just do. I, I think that, uh, that simply is also, we have this talk about the trillions in, in massive tax. Uh, or ta and then of course, Mr. Beast is Zach, which oddly enough is less white of a name than his real name. A guy who is so boring, his entire YouTube channel is about other people, will help you write jokes. And clearly this will go well. I'm not saying I know everything. <laughs> um. No wonder he has to buy gold yachts for people to watch his <laughs> Israel Adesanya as Luis, where he will tell you how to lose belts against a guy who personifies CTE. Just don't ask him for inspirational quotes. He's improved, but he's always been a beast. But I'm a different beast with the same animal. They even have Kendall Jenner as Billy, your big sis, so you can vent her about your divorce, losing the kids, and being laid off, where she'll just hand you a Pepsi. Charlie D'Amelio as Coco, who will be your personal dance assistant and probably virtual girlfriend for guys who shouldn't be allowed within 300 feet of a school, or manga readers. And Snoop Dogg as Dungeon Master, who will guide you to games or whatever current trend he can hop into to stay relevant. Meta says there are more to come, so hopefully I can audition as Gary the Journalist where I'll create deep fakes of Biden. Yo, this Biden body double's a baddie. Four more years, more like buy me a couple beers and I'm going home with you. Damn, dude. AOC farted, and Hassan Piker viewers are on eBay bidding for the cushion. AOC released a video on the Israel and Palestine war, and at 39 seconds, this happens. In the names of victims who do not want their tragedy mm. used to- Farting on camera while talking about war crimes is a bold move, 
but not refilming it and putting it out is a different level. And you may say that was doctored, but it wasn't. It was straight from her government Twitter account. But to prove it that it's not altered, we hired a high technology firm to run diagnostics on this with thermal imaging. Names of victims who do not want their tragedy mm. used to justify. And as you can see here, the blast radius is bigger than Gaza. Sorry, sorry, but she was talking about it, so it's relevant. The FTC is banning hidden junk fees. Even President Biden endorsed the bill, so we may see him at Coachella next year. I'll take whatever he's taking. This is the first time in a long time the government did something we can all agree with. The law requires hidden fees to be shown up front rather than being hit with the convenience fees at checkout. This includes things like fulfillment fees for concert tickets. Who's fulfilling my online purchase? ChatGPT? And don't even get me started on the convenience fees. I had to create an account, download an app, verify my with my ID, wait for an approval, send you my blood typing ancestry results at this point, and even tip you. What the is convenient about that? Hidden fees could radicalize Ned Flanders, so it is nice to see that these might go away. Airbnb has even started putting these costs up front, but we need to vote on removing some of their fees completely. When the fuck did a cleaning fee become as much as one night's stay? Are the cleaning crews getting 401ks? All I did was sleep there. I didn't even use your microwave. This is why hotels will always be supreme. <laughs> you get a service unparalleled to a controlling Airbnb host that uses property to fund her Merlot abuse. Hotels give me the excitement of stealing a bathrobe some insurance agent wore before me. I'll definitely get charged for it, but I get a little sliver of excitement thinking I won't. You would probably guess everyone is on board, but this is America, so some people aren't. The US Chamber of Commerce has said this isn't good and it will slow down innovation and the lower prices for consumers. This is a convenient response when you see that the Chamber of Commerce is funded by corporations, the ones losing money by doing this. I got a convenience fee for those bastards. George Bush, the Twin Tower deleter himself, may be coming out of retirement, and not as the guy who removes casinos from Vegas. Republicans are struggling to find a Speaker of the House, like a new family struggles to find a home in this country. They're fucked. And the former president has been floated as a potential candidate by Democrats. Democrat lawmaker Brad Sherman believes he is less radical than some of the Republicans being offered. Now this isn't that surprising, Bush was floated as an idea given the Democrats' stance on wars as of late. The lawmaker when asked said, I'm not a real fan of how the Iraq war went, as if it was just a football game his team lost and not a 20 year war based on lies. They do everything they can to stop these terrorist killers. Thank, Thank you. you. Now watch this drive. We'll do it live. We'll do it live!